Hi, good morning everyone. Uh, my name is Marco. I'm sorry, I'm a little bit late, a minute. Um, I was preparing everything so I could give you the perfect information for what we are going to talk here today. So this is a video that, uh, that belongs to the, um, let's say, the schedule that I have for this week. I'll call it the English week. And today we are going to talk about something really interesting, okay? It's called uh, the mirror rule or the wisdom of the mirror as well. Um, today it's going to be a, a short uh, live. First of all, uh, this is based in a v very small and very powerful book from a, a Japanese um, author. Um, and the book it's called The Mirror Rule. And uh, the author is called Yoshinori Noguchi. <laughs> First, the mirror rule is divided into four. Let's say sub sub rules, and the first one, and probably the one that is for us the, the that is the most difficult one to not to understand but to accept is this one. Everything that bothers me, everything that irritates me that makes me angry or that makes me furious regarding other person whatever I would like to change in her or in him I have that inside of me mm -hmm. and this is where we can connect this uh, concept to other concepts uh, developed by uh, Dr. Carl Jung that is, all of us have a part that we show to the outside, let's say our light, what we want others to see about us, what we do and how we behave in order to be accepted, and then all, all of us have a part that we repress that we don't want others to see and us individually we don't even want to see it so we repress it we hide it we don't want even to hear about it smell it see it so this is what we call our sh a shadow that's our darkness that part of us that ooh, I don't want even to go there and one way powerful way to connect with that darkness in ourselves with that shadow is through the mirror rule with that with this first law of the mirror is everything that bothers us on the others we have that inside this is that's our shadow okay that's the first law of the mirror let's go to the second law of the mirror the second law of the mirror is everything that the other is criticizing about me that he or she is fighting me or wants to change in me in the way that I behave in reality it belongs to me if it hurts me okay if everything the other person is doing to me and it's hurting me it belongs to me it is something that I have that I haven't yet somehow um, de dealt with it or heal it within me it's something that is pending it is work to be done within me okay so this these these two first laws of the mirror are very very important for that to learn about me to understand my shadow my and um, also to integrate that, that within me to accept that that 
is within me. In order to feel good, to connect with peace, at some point of our lives, we will have to embrace that shadow. We will have to embrace that because it is producing us some pain. And it's, it's a treasure, it's gold. Because when we identify those things that are hurting us, or those things I want to change in the other, those things that the other wants to change about me that hurts me, I'm able to somehow turn my attention towards me and work that, work those emotions, work those behaviors, work the things that are um, producing some kind of conflict or difficulty around me. That's very important and that's how, why I'm talking uh, with you about the mirror rule and how important this tool is to um, connect with our true self, our authentic self. Hmm? Now, let's go to the third law of the mirror. Everything that the other person is criticizing about me or is recriminating me, what that person wants to change in me but without affecting me. It's just some people want you to behave in a certain way and you say, okay, but you just, it doesn't hurt you. Or some, some person is criticizing you and, okay, that's, I don't give a dime about what that person is saying about me. Because I know who I am, I accept who I am, I'm at peace with who I am. If that is happening and you don't get affected by it, it means that um, it's the image that of the other person that she or he is projecting upon you. It has to do with him, not with you. Okay? Probably you are serving, not probably, I'm sure that you are serving as a, a mirror toward that person and your behavior and who you are is somehow upsetting that person. If it's upsetting that person, it belongs to that person, not to you. Okay? It only belongs to you if somehow bothers you or upsets you or makes make it make it's their behavior make you go out of your center okay the last law of the mirror is everything i like about the other what i love in her or in him i have a need to it's inside me and I appreciate it in the others. It's not only the shadow that I see in the other. The other is a mirror for everything that I am. I also see light. I also see love. I also see what I like there. I recognize myself in others and at this point I merge into the other. And this is what makes us a whole. Hmm? Understanding this rule, this simple rule, might and has the power to change your life. Okay? So just a quick, quick uh, review of what I said is, first law, first law of the mirror is everything that bothers me, irritates me, makes me angry or makes me furious furious with the other whatever I would like to change in her or him I have that in me it's my shadow okay um, second law everything that I that the other criticizes me fights me for wants to change in me that's that hurts me in reality, again, it belongs to me. It is something that I have 
haven't yet uh, dealt with. It's something that gives me the opportunity to work within me. As I told you uh, yesterday, the important work to be done or the change to be done is really within. It makes no sense trying to change the other to meet our expectations or to meet who we are. What I have to do is change myself in order to achieve peace and tranquility. It's not even to change myself to somehow meet the other's expectations. The work to be done, the deep personal work to be done, is with one self. This is my message to you. The third law of the mirror is uh, everything that the other person criticizes about me, recriminates me, what wants me to change, but without making him or her touch me or affect me, is an image of the other person, is his character, his lack projecting on, projected on me. The fourth law, whatever you see outside in the other person that you like, that you love, that you appreciate, is in reality also inside you. Okay? And this is, uh, again, what it will help you to merge with the other. So, today, it's what I had wanted to tell you. I'm sending you a huge calm hug, blessings, thanking you for being with me uh, this time. And uh, tomorrow we're going to talk about emotions and some tools on how to uh, manage them. Okay? Take care. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.